you know, increasingly as our lives get more complicated, I think we spend more and more time in our own little circle. Um, and so these opportunities when we can cross-pollinate, you know, with people from other walks of life become increasingly important. You know, there isn't, we don't have that kind of opportunity to sort of, um, to, uh, to, to step away from our world and see, how, see things through other people's eyes. And that's the great value of a conference, of course. You always have to remember there's there's sort of two levels of lessons. There are the lessons from inside your world and those from outside your world. Um, obviously, someone like me coming to this conference, I can't tell anyone at this conference um, anything new about the particulars of, you know, manufacturing complex, you know, uh, things or products or, you know, I'm not. I have, I have no credibility in that particular. Um, but what I can do is give them much broader um, insights from outside their world to let them know, for example, that whether people in other professions are grappling with very different, with very, very similar kinds of problems, which I think is true. And there's a certain kind of insight that I think you can only get when you take that broader perspective and, and, and take a step backwards. Well, and one of the things I'm going to talk about in my talk today, actually, is um, I talk a lot about being well calibrated how good you are at something, right? And the only way you can figure that out is if is by process of comparison, is getting feedback and observing others and seeing where you, that gives you a chance to evaluate what you're good at, what you're not good at, where you, where you need to improve. And so that kind of, the opportunity for meaningful social comparison, right, is a huge part of what makes these sorts of meetings valuable.